and the best part this amazing view this is really an incredible view of the island you can see the ocean from here you can see just feel the island vibe it's just magnificent you can't this is really like a million dollar view especially for the value you get like this is unbeatable So here we are in our room in the lime tree in St. Thomas. It's a really nice room. We got a studio. It has a bed, a king size bed, a full bathroom. It has a kitchenette with a microwave. It has a big fridge, a stove top, a coffee maker, of course. So as you can see, there's a comfortable bed. There's a, a lot of closet space to keep your things. Let's check out that closet space. You can keep your valuables right here. You can keep your shoes, a lot of drawer space for sure. We have a TV more space here to keep your things, an area to maybe have your food, like a living room area, and a really nice decor, very beach vibe. And the best part, we're gonna leave it for you to see. We're good to go. And now the best part being able to wake up and have your coffee right with the beach view you can't beat this it's just such an amazing feeling having the beach right at your door front a few steps away from you you can hear the waves it's just incredible So we're here in Lime Tree Resort, where the beach is right at your footsteps. This uh, resort has some restaurants, has music, has, of course, as you can see, an amazing beach. And we're going to show you all the activities you can do right here. So I do want to mention the beach is it's really cool and it's awesome. That's right at your footsteps. It's not maybe as clean. It has like a lot of leaves and a lot of rocks not big rocks but small rocks but it's still a lot of fun to just hang out here and take a dip in the water the pool area at lime tree was pretty cool it was very close to the beach as well and they had a lot of seating area just to keep in mind they also had like iguanas and chickens kind of uh, going around. They don't really like mess with you or anything like that, but it's always good to know. The restaurant was pretty awesome. It had a, it had a really nice breeze. It was open air, but it was also shaded. 
So you don't have to worry about maybe if it's a very early in the day that the sun will be in your face. The drinks were awesome. I loved the presentation and the drinks and even the flavors. It really it was a nice representation of being in an island. And the food was really very fresh, very tasty. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that the restaurant doesn't really belong to the hotel. So you do have to pay when you go to a restaurant. You can charge it to your room. Um, the restaurant was pretty cool and I definitely recommend it. So Lime Tree also has a, a lot of activities within the resort. They have a huge chessboard and uh, Sunny and me actually played. I'm not going to say who won. I don't want to hurt feelings. And uh, they also had a tennis court, a basketball court. So it's pretty cool to hang out there. They also had a laundry in the facility, but that's an extra charge. In Lime Tree, you can also find that they have a market area. So in the market area, you can uh, get anything that maybe you forgot, like the toothbrush, toothpaste. And they also had some snacks. We actually enjoyed some rum balls they had there. It was so good. You definitely need to try it. So Lime Tree Resort, I love the fact that they had the beach right at your footsteps and you get to wake up with the ocean sounds. That was pretty cool. They had several activities within the resort, including tennis and basketball. They also had a restaurant within the resort. So it was pretty cool that we could just uh, walk there. The downside I would say is that they had the airport a bit further away. It was around 20 minutes, give or take, depending on traffic. And also I would say that it does get pretty pitch dark at night. So it was a, so if you're new to the island, it is a bit challenging when you're driving towards a, back to the resort. And it's a bit further away from downtown. It's like 15 minutes, a, give or take. So here we are in another accommodation in St. Thomas. This is a more budget-friendly uh, location, uh, hotel for sure. This is a one bedroom. We're gonna show you the inside. So as you walk in, you have a nice living room area right here, a kitchenette, a place to maybe have a meal, a TV, nice decor all around. You have, actually the kitchen is a full kitchen, as you can see. It has a full fridge, a stove, coffee maker, microwave, even a toaster. So you have everything you might need. As we walk in some more, we have a full bathroom. Let me just turn on this light. And we have here the bedroom. The bedroom is actually adjoined to the balcony, which we're gonna show you in a minute. It has a very comfortable queen size bed. And the best part. This amazing view. This is really an incredible view of the island. You can see the ocean from here. You can see, just feel the island vibe. It's just magnificent. You can't, this is really like a million dollar view. Especially for the value you get, like this is unbeatable. Well, we're here in, we're here in Sunset Gardens. They're gracious enough to show us another one of their accommodations. This is also one bedroom, but come inside. It has such a nice vibe to it. It has a nice living room area right here where you can sit, enjoy. Um, and they have a TV. As you can see, they have an accommodation here. You can have your meals. They have a full kitchen as well. A full, you can see here a huge fridge, 
a stove, a microwave, coffee maker. They even give you some coffee, sugar, anything you need, a toaster. You can hang out here, enjoy. They have here the bedroom, a full bathroom. They offer soap, all the necessities in case you forget yours. You have here the bedroom, a nice comfortable bedroom, a queen size bed. And my favorite part, of course, the unbeatable view. You can actually just, if you want, hang out here with a glass of wine at night or a cup of coffee in the morning. Enjoy this view. It's just really breathtaking. I don't think I've ever seen something as gorgeous as this. So we're here in the three bedroom in Sunset Garden. As you walk in, you have a kitchen, a full kitchen with a stove, a microwave, coffee maker, of course, toaster, a full fridge. You have here a dining area. A living room area with a TV. So let's check out the bedrooms now. So we have here one of the bedrooms in the back. Let me turn on the light here. A comfortable bedroom. It has a closet and some more space to keep your things there. This actually has a nice view of the outside. It's really a nice bedroom for sure. Let's check out the other bedrooms. Closer to the kitchen, you actually have a second bedroom. And this bedroom actually has the bathroom attached to it, a private bathroom. From this bedroom, you can actually see the pool. So that's pretty cool as well. So we have here one of the bathrooms, the downstairs bathroom. It's a full bathroom. It's adjoining to one of the bedrooms. And let's check out the third bedroom. It's actually on the second floor of the same unit. You have here a private bedroom. It has a really amazing view. Let's check it out. Isn't, isn't that so nice? Imagine waking up to that view. And this one also has a private full bathroom. It has a shower, it's a full bathroom right here. So now let's check out the balcony. This really has a lot of breathtaking views. You can see a cruise from here. You can see the, almost the whole island, this half of the island from here. It's just so amazing. All the yachts coming in and out. It's just a great place to be.
So in this hotel, they also have a pool and a barbecue pit. So you can definitely have a good time here. If you rent out the three bedroom, I was told that you're gonna have a private entrance from the bedroom to the pool. So that's always a plus. And even if you're hanging out, you can see the beautiful view they have. So here is the best part. I love Sunset Gardens. It has such an amazing view. This is really an Instagram view. If you just come here, you can take this picture. It's gonna look like you're in a postcard. It's that amazing. And if you don't believe me, you have to check it out for yourself. So in Sunset Gardens, they had this really awesome mural. I actually took a few pictures there. It was really well done, beautifully done. And what I love the most is when we were actually driving up the mountain to go there, you could see the mural from that distance. It was very impressive. So we have also Sunset Gardens. Uh, we had a chance to check around a lot of the rooms, which was pretty awesome. Um, most of the rooms are apartment style, meaning that you have a room, you have a nice big kitchen, a living room. Um, you, it's a, a good value for the money you're paying for sure. The building itself had a lot of character. It had a lot of spots that you had these beautiful views overlooking the ocean, so I love that. And it's only five minutes away from the airport. So that's always a plus. A downside, but it's not really a huge downside, is that you don't have a beach right there, obviously, because it is in the mountain. It, but the closest beach isn't too far away. It's only like, there's one five minutes away, another one is six minutes away, so that's not too bad. Um, there's not a restaurant in the hotel, but there is one, they told me, walking distance, probably like five minutes away. And overall, each one of these resorts has its own benefits and their own downsides maybe. But overall, I really enjoyed visiting both and it was a good experience. So some things to keep in mind while visiting St. Thomas. Number one, I would say uh, you should have cash with you. Some places, uh, some local spots sometimes don't accept credit cards or they have a limit to accept the credit card. So it's always good to carry some cash. Um, they drive in the left side of the road. So just have that in mind as well. Uh, just generally in the island, they do have a lot of wildlife like iguanas, chickens and other animals. So it's good to know that even at the resort, sometimes you will find either of these animals and uh, they don't really come close to guests, but it's good to know that they're there around. Another suggestion is go early to the airport because it does uh, get pretty full. Security lines get very crazy, so you might want to keep that in mind. Um, most hotels, not to say all, don't have bellhop options. Um, you have to carry your own luggage to your room. 
Sometimes, um, like in some hotels, it's a bit of a walk to go to your room. So just keep that in mind. Um, also, for the bigger resorts, they usually charge an energy and resort fee. It's like $25 each fee, and it is added to your bill. Um, also, I would say, and this is a personal suggestion, I usually like to have a nice kitchen in the room so that I don't necessarily have to leave the room for breakfast and I can start my day there. Um, Airbnb is an option. I know a lot of people don't necessarily know this, but there are a lot of options of Airbnb in the island. Um, you do have to drive around or get some sort of transportation when you go anywhere. Taxis do tend to be a bit more expensive, but if you're not comfortable driving on the left side of the road or for whatever reason, because it's also, you have to drive a lot of mountains, um, that is an option. Just keep that in mind. And also keep in mind the distance from the hotel, hotel to the airport so you can plan out when you do have to head out of St. Thomas.